know how child care abuse children. They would have known, like, every time they go back home, they pick their child up, they would say, oh, how's your day in school? You mean children and parents and mothers, they don't have time to ask this kind of questions before they go to bed? That whereby there is abuse, it has to be found out after a long period of time? Not only that, even two years old girls, they get sent to kindergarten only to be molested in school, in Singapore now. Is this the kind of Singapore that is called safe? Is this called peace and prosperity when people are suffering and living in poverty instead? Talking about um, safety and peacefulness, uh, let, me, let me make this comment. Singapore has not been voted the most safe country in the world. All right? I, I, I read a survey recently. Singapore is not number one. Yet it is the narrative painted by the PAP and their internet brigade all the time. And even Taman, I think, some months ago or maybe some years ago. Let me put it this way, my friends. I have lived in many countries in my life, okay, many countries. I have even lived in a region of Indonesia which is well known as the terrorist center of Indonesia a town called Poso in central Sulawesi. I've lived there. I've never felt unsafe. All right? People come and tell me, oh, London is unsafe. I laugh at them. Why is London more unsafe than Singapore? I have never felt that it was dangerous to go out on the streets of London to walk at night. And I used to live, you know, in a part of London, and I used to walk from Regent's Park all the way to Tottenham Court Road to buy newspapers at night, the early morning edition papers. I never felt unsafe, all right? 